Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. The headlines. President Biden confirms the head of al-Qaeda, Ayman al-Zawahiri, has been killed by a US drone strike in Kabul. He made videos, including the recent weeks, calling for his followers to attack the United States and our allies. Now, justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. Liz Truss scraps a plan to link public sector pay to local living costs following a backlash from a number of senior conservatives. As energy bills soar, BP reports £6.9 billion in quarterly profits, its highest in 14 years. The parents of Archie Battersby have lodged another appeal with the Supreme Court against the decision to end the 12-year-old's life support treatment. It's a bit of a waiting game now, um, but we're, we're hopeful that they will hopefully hear the case and we'll get to put our points across. British Airways halts sales of tickets on short-haul flights from Heathrow for a week as disruption for travellers continues. And MPs are calling for non-surgical cosmetic procedures like Botox and fillers to be better regulated. Hello, welcome.